Oh shio, oh shio. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to share some more scripture with you. And you know, my hope is that I can be able to encourage somebody and to stir someone on the right path. And uh, and I hope these scriptures help and whatever uh, in whatever way you know that will to help help you. Uh, our whole thing is that we're supposed to lift one another up, not tear each other down, and give each other hope. Not a false hope, but a hope in our Lord Yeshua, which anyone who who hopes in Him will never be ashamed. Yeah. Now I'm reading from the NASB again, and this is in Isaiah. What we'll do is kind of do some skipping through here. It's only 26 uh, chapter. First, I want to go to verse three. And, you know, you can pause it now if you want to give you a chance to to look it up. The steadfast of mine. Thou wilt keep in perfect peace, because he trusts in thee. At night, uh, verse 9, At night my soul longs for thee. Indeed, my spirit within me seeks, seeks, let me read that again. My brother back over, uh, my one brother, He's in that karaoke vein, and he just gets so into that, you know, and uh, he, he gets real carried away. All right, verse 9. At night my soul longs for thee. Indeed, my spirit within me seeks thee diligently. For when the earth experiences thy judgment, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Isn't that so true? Verse 19, you're dead all. Oh, I love this verse here. Verse 19, your dead will live. The resurrection. <laughs> oh, their corpses will rise who lie in the dust. Awake and shout for joy. For your dew is as the dew of the dawn and the earth will give birth to the departed spirits. Ho ho! Come, my people, verse 20, Come, my people, enter into your rooms, and close your doors behind you. Hide for a little while unto, until indignation runs its course. For behold, the Lord is about to come out from his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, and the earth will reveal her bloodshed and will no longer cover her slain. Ha ho. Oh, I love that. That, that is so, so beautiful. And, and, and what I'm going to talk to you about is about the Lord's protecting hand, His protecting hand. How He's just so good, isn't He? And, and, and the whole idea of this video that I'm doing is not for controversial or anything, because like I said, everyone has their opinions, okay? But this is to help encourage you in the Lord. So now we're all hoping and, and, and looking for for the, the, the rapture. Now, some are, are looking for it before having to go through the tribulation, and, and others know that it will either be mid or, or post trib. One of them, you know, you got three views. But uh, and, you, and you've heard me enough to know that this is the way I feel. It's like, you know, about this uh, being taken out and carried up to meet the Lord before the. Uh, tribulation uh, it, it, to me you know from what all the scriptures I, I, I read on this and, 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 and I don't have no doctorate and I don't need a doctorate and I know you don't need no doctorates the Bible tells us and, and, and listen people this is something that we should not even be arguing about 
Uh, but what I want to try to do is build you up, and it's like this. See, if I'm wrong and we get taken out, that's great. But see, this is what the whole idea is. What if the 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 pre-trib thing does not happen the way you think? Well, you don't disappear out of taken up uh, in the time that you think will will be. Because you're gonna, someone's going to have to go. There's going to be a trying of the fire, the testing of the saints, the purifying. I mean, he's not going to carry a dirty church. But listen, that's not bad news. The good news is he's going to keep us, just like just like all right, just like the three Hebrew children, right? You know, you, we've all heard that story, we've all read it, and we know this that God protected them. You know, they even said, "Look." We're not going to bow down to your your idol, your your god, O king, and stuff. Says you know, but even if the Lord says, you know, even if He doesn't protect us, if He doesn't save us from your hands, we're still going to trust Him. We're not going to bow down, you know. And and the Lord kept them safe, you know, like He kept the children of Israel safe when the plagues and things was going on in Egypt and things, and in other events that you read through, how the Lord has kept His people safe. And we were just reading that, and we was reading about a resurrection, and, you know, and and this is good news. This is great news because he cares for us. So remember, you know, God cares for you and I, and this is something most people will forget. And 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 I'm not. This video is not about. Let's argue about rapture. Who's right? Who's wrong? Let's argue and fuss and fight and make fools out of ourselves. No, but we we should encourage one another. Now, see, this is what p most post, I mean, pre pre trib fail to realize. If they're right, then they're, then they'll be right, you know, because then he's come, he takes you out. And that's great news. And but the uh, and and then there there's nothing lost. But when you're wrong, if you if you're wrong and you're you know I'm not talking about that's your opinion about pre-trib being wrong and you you know you're going to go to hell and all that kind of stuff. That's that's not right. But I, I'm saying if if you're thinking, you know, if your belief is on it, that's that's fine. I mean that's that's your view. You can't change that. But you know, if you're teaching it as a 100% fact, here's here's where it matters, uh, because then if, if you're wrong and you're still here, you'll have the same problems that what happened in uh, the Thessalonians is when you're reading. Uh, yeah, you, you understand it. You get people who get discouraged, and 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 and, and some will give up, and some will will have hate in their heart and different things. So we don't want that. Uh, we want to encourage one another. So we have to stop thinking. And remember, there is no professional prophecy experts. That's just hooey baluey. You know. But but the thing is about this the scripture we was reading that there there is hope, there's protection, there's a resurrection, and the Lord is coming. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour, the minute, or second, but we know by the signs of His coming. Ha ho! Yeah, praise the Lord. So this is, I hope, you know, it, it's not much what I'm offering here. It's just, but it's something to to help encourage you to think, something to think about, and it's a little bit from the scriptures there, you know, and and, and you read it further for yourself and look through the Bible, encourage yourself. And the Lord let us encourage one another. So until then, my friends, God bless you one and all. Walk in His love and peace be unto you. Shalom. Ha ho.